Today's video, I'm going to share with you my monthly living expenses in Mexico. These prices are quoted in US dollars. Uh, the exchange rate varies in Mexico. Right now it's about 17 to one. So that will impact your expenses or will impact my expenses obviously. But the reality is when you're dealing with small dollar amounts, say, 10 or $20, it really is not gonna make much difference. But when you're talking about rent or buying a property or a big ticket item, the exchange rate definitely will make a difference. Now for most people, the biggest expense they have is housing. I currently do not have any rent or mortgage payment because I own my property outright. But I can give you some idea of what rents cost because I did rent a one bedroom, one bath, furnished apartment for $750 a month, it's about 500 square feet, a small uh, uh, patio. Um, I currently live in San Miguel de Allende, Mexico. Now obviously rent's going to vary depending on where you live in Mexico. Some places are more expensive than others, and um, but this is a pretty good guideline of what rents are going to be. A one bedroom, one bath is going to rent you between $600 and $800 a month. Two bedroom, two bath, approximately $800 to $1,000 a month. And a three bedroom is going to run about $1,000 to $1,500 a month. Now again, most apartments are furnished. Um, but again, it really depends on where you live in Mexico. You can get rents cheaper than this. Um, if you go to a, a, a smaller town, you may have to be really fluent in Spanish. Or if you go to a place like Cabo, Cabo San Lucas, I can tell you a two bedroom, two bath is gonna run you $2,500 a month. Now the next expense I, I want to discuss is property taxes. It's a big issue for a lot of people, especially in, in the United States and Canada. My property taxes are $30 a month. Yep, you heard that right. Property taxes in Mexico are ridiculously low. It's just, it's amazing how low it is. Um, I'm thrilled. Um, obviously, if you're renting, you will not be paying property taxes. Now, the next expense I want to discuss is insurance. I have no insurance expense, and that is because my property and most properties in Mexico are built out of concrete. Walls, floors, roof, everything's concrete. So nothing can burn, no hail damage. Where I live, there's no hurricanes, no tornadoes. So the only thing the insurance will really cover is if my cabin is burnt or a covered theft. With a $50,000 policy, $200, but of that $200, 125 of that was a policy fee. So I thought, you know, realistically, probably not gonna need it. So I don't have any insurance expense. The next expense is HOA dues. My HOA dues are $95 a month. It is a uh, uh, gated community. So we have full-time security guards. It has a fairly large pool, uh, has a gym, but the gym is, it's a joke. It's not really much of a gym. My electric bill runs about $10 a month. I do not have air conditioning or heating. Um, obviously if you live on a coast where there's a lot of humidity, pretty much anywhere in the world, you're going to need air conditioning anyway. I may actually install a couple mini splits next year. Uh, because May is the hottest month of the year. I can tell you if you are renting, generally electric is not included in your rent. My water bill is $15 a month. Generally, if you're renting, water will be included in your rent. However, there's also you probably need to budget about 
$15 a month for one person for drinking water. Most people in Mexico have the five gallon jugs, they call them garrafons. They're delivered to your property. They run about, it comes to about 50 cents a gallon. Uh, I did at one point have water delivered, but I installed a under the sink filtration system mainly because I was tired of dealing with the water delivery people. They were, they were so incompetent, never on time. They wouldn't show up. They'd show up the next day unannounced. It was just a, it was a mess. So I thought, you know what? Screw it. It cost about $200. And I installed the under the sink filtration system, which makes my life a whole lot easier. My gas bill runs $20 a month. Generally, the gas people come about every five months to fill up my tank. Uh, most water heaters are run on gas and stoves are typically gas here in Mexico. Um, if you're renting, generally you will have to pay for gas. Internet costs $35 a month. Generally, if you are Renting, internet will be included in your rent price. My home maintenance expense, I'm budgeting $50 a month. Obviously that can vary. Uh, I did have a recent water leak in my wall and the repair guys came out the first day and spent about five hours busting through the wall, through the floor, trying to, trying to find the water leak. They fixed the water leak. The next day they came back, repaired the wall, plastered it, painted it, replaced a tile on the floor, and reinstalled the toilet, which was, the water leak was behind the toilet in the wall. Total cost was $250. The next expense is laundry. I do not have any laundry expense because I have my own washer and dryer. But a lot of people don't have washers and dryers. And what they do is, and I did this for a while when I was renting in Centro and when I was in an Airbnb, is you drop off your laundry in the morning, typically they will wash it, dry it, fold it, when I say fold it, that's subjective <laughs> on the quality, but I don't care. I'm a guy. Um, that generally runs about $6 a load. I mean, it's real convenient. And some people love that. But to me, it was kind of a hassle because you have to like plan your day. Like I used to drop it off on Friday morning. At this one place, very reliable. And I, they say, come back about four or five. I come back and be ready bring it home, but I had to always plan to come back and get my laundry. Now, it's just so much easier to have my own washer and dryer. And some rentals will include washer and dryer, probably more of the higher end uh, apartments or your higher rent, higher rents will include a washer and dryer. So it's, it just depends on what you want. Now the next major expense that I have is health insurance. Now obviously health insurance is dependent on your current situation. There's so many different factors and how much you would pay for health insurance. But I currently pay $900 a year. And it's basically a traveler's plan. It covers me only in Mexico and only for uh, emergencies. And I'm, I'm not gonna get into all the pros and cons of my plan. It works for me now always try something different down in the future. I currently spend about $20 a month on what I call transportation expenses. I do not have a car. My method of transportation is a fat tire e-bike and I love it. I can go to the grocery store, pickleball, gym, go to Centro. It's very, very, very convenient for me. But I do travel periodically and to get from San Miguel de Ende to the Quetro airport, it's $30 one way. 
and um, so I figured on about eight round trips a year, about four trips a year. So I have that expense and that does come up. Um, when I was in Centro, I used to take the bus once in a while, that is 60 cents. Taxis and Ubers are about six, seven dollars in town, but I don't really use those anymore. I just take my e-bike or I walk everywhere. My gym membership is forty-five dollars a month, and I also spend um, about twenty dollars a month for my mail forwarding service. It's an annual fee, but it comes out to about twenty dollars a month. And generally, if you live overseas, you're going to need a mail forwarding company to get your mail and scan it to you and once in a while forward it to you. If you have a relative that can get your mail, you can change your mailing address to their residential address and have them take a picture of it, send it to you. You can eliminate that expense. So just keep that in mind. I spend $125 a month. On my cell phones, I have two phones, mainly because uh, for backup, if I lose my phone, at least I have a temporary one before I can go back to the United States and get my primary phone, get a new phone for my primary number. Also, when I was in Colorado, one phone worked better than the other phone. My primary phone is T-Mobile, works great in Mexico. Um, I'm on the like, over 55 plan and then there's uh, my backup phone is Cricket, which is a I guess part of AT&T. Uh, I don't really use that phone. I hardly even turn it on unless I need it for something. My other really big expense, and I have a separate line item for this, is my tax preparation fee. I use a, a CPA that specializes in expats. And it's like $650 a year, which is $55 a month. I know it's a lot. I used to do my own taxes just because my taxes were simple, but being an expat, taking advantage of the foreign earned income exclusion, to me, it's worth it. They know what they're doing. So you may or may not have the expense, but that's my expense for tax prep. My next three big expenses are, I call it eating out slash entertainment, groceries and miscellaneous expenses. Now a suggestion I have that what I did for two years was I kept track of all my expenses just to see where my money was going. Obviously your fixed expenses like rent or car insurance or cell phones, those don't change, but like I wanted to know how much do I spend on eating out and groceries and just buying stuff on Amazon and just miscellaneous stuff that comes up. So I would suggest you consider trying to do that just so you get some idea of what your expenses are currently. So I spent about $200 a month on eating out slash entertainment and about $400 a month on groceries. So roughly $600 a month, which some people may say that's a lot. Um, I don't eat a whole lot of fruits and vegetables, go to the local produce market. I just uh, eat typical, I don't call it Western diet. Um, and those numbers changed. When I was in Centro, I ate out more and spent less on groceries because everything was so convenient to walk to. Now where I live, it's a little more, it's about a you know mile to two miles to the restaurant. So I don't eat out as much. And, uh, but that's how I know what my expenses are. It's roughly those two combined are $600 a month. Miscellaneous, there's always things that come up. Amazon purchases, you want a new pillow. There's always, as you know, there's always stuff you buy that you need or you want or whatever. So same thing, I kept track of all my expenses, so I spent about roughly $300 a month on miscellaneous expenses. So overall, my annual expenses are $18,000, which is $1,500 per month. So 
But as you can see, the cost of living in Mexico is very affordable. And there's other positives to Mexico, like the weather, the people, the food, which I didn't get into in this video. Just wanted to show you my numbers. And I hope you found this video helpful and informative. And if you did so, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel. I appreciate your time and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.